So with row-level security, what you're really trying to do is you're trying to scale out your reporting. Traditionally, if you had, say, different managers or regions where you needed to send the same report, you'd have to go and recreate the report five to ten times for each of those different uh, different areas because you didn't want to show uh, those um, those managers or those sales reps information on other regions. Now at Power BI you have this immense scale that you can bring to your analysis because you can build one really detailed report but then build a security model, a row level security model on top of it so that everything, um, so that uh, whoever is provisioned to see certain information that's all that they see. They don't see everything. They don't see all the um, you know, sales information that could be from a different store or from a different region, so on and so forth. So let's work through an example of how you actually set this up within Power BI. Now, the first thing uh, you've, we'll have a quick look at is the, let's, let's now have a look at the regional information in this, um, in, in this model. So this is actually a, uh, a piece of analysis on New Zealand, which is uh, where I am currently um, located. And now there is two um, sales groups within this, um, within this location. So, and this is represented by the island. So we've got the North Island and we've got the South Island. And I'm just gonna put total sales in there. Now, we, whenever we send this out, we don't want this to actually go to both, um, to both sales groups. We wanna actually uh, provision the North only see the North and the South only see the South. So I'm just gonna do a bit more setup here and we'll just create some simple uh, visualizations uh, like so and we'll also also we might want to actually analyze uh, we might want to analyze this um, by customer so we might want to see our total sales by customer for example and then lastly we might want to look at this we might want to look at this by date so let's grab our dates send that up there get rid of this the annoying hierarchy and then we'll put this along the bottom here. Okay, so now we have we have our report, really detailed in this case, not as detailed as you can make it, but um, but at least we've got a bit of information on here now. Uh, I'm just gonna change, quickly change up the colors just to make it look a little bit more compelling. Okay, so now we need to somehow build a security model on top of here, which only allows us to see the North or the South Island. Now. At the top of your model, you'll see the security section. And to set up the row level security, you need to go to manage roles and click on create. And then we need to um, name it something. So I'm gonna call this uh, North Sales Team. And I'm gonna create, uh, and then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get a South Sales Team as well. Now, to isolate these particular areas, we need to find uh, the region. We need to find the column which uh, tells us if it's north or south, and that's in the regions table in this case. I'm going to add a filter. I'm going to find the island, and then it says island equals value. In this case, we want to put north and south. So in this one, it's actually south. So I'll go south, and and then I've got to go back, and then just got to make sure this is right. Yep. Okay. And then for the same for north, we need we need to add a filter to the island. And we need to add north on there. And I'll save that. And now we've done. So we've added our security model on top. But how do we actually view it? Well, how do we even know we've done the right thing? So what they've got here is this view as roles. And so, I mean, remember, you could actually create quite complex logic. I mean, you can have um, almost 20 different, if you had 20 retail sites, you could add a security model um, you know, to 20 of those stores. So that's, you know, just in itself is immensely scalable. But if you wanted to then view to make sure you'd set it up correctly, you go view as roles, and then you have this option where you can actually now select these, uh, these the, any security module or uh, any um, filter basically on your information. So in this case, I'm gonna select my North sales team and then I'm gonna go okay. And you'll see here, and in this graphically uh, was show, showcased on the uh, map here that now all of this information, all of this information is filtered for that, uh, for the North Island, for that row level security um, provision that we set up. And we can just stop viewing. We could also just double check the South is set up correctly. So I'll click on South here. 
and now that's the South Island. And so think about um, when you think about a security model, you think uh, you try uh, try to think of this is your data model, and then on top of this, on top of it, you have this security model that can place additional filters over your over your data. And <clears throat> we've just gone through a simple example, but um, you know, obviously, you could if the, if you had um, if you needed to send out reports uh, to every single retail store that or every retail. Um, sales location for example then you can very easily um, you know not have to recreate a number of different reports you can just um, you know, add to the security model and manage it manage it that way i think it's a far more effective way and considering the scalability just in general you can get with power bi adding the security model onto that um, just gives you uh, double the power and you know double the um, efficiencies you know, far more far more efficient to actually create uh, create analysis in an, in an enterprise environment now. Now, once you've set up your security model in your uh, Power BI desktop file, you obviously want to publish it and then manage it in the in the online service. So I'm going to publish this to the online service first. Uh, And I'm going to put this to my own personal workspace. So once it's actually uploaded, once you've actually published to the online service, you then jump into the online service. And you'll see here that uh, if you go down to, so first of all, we'll look at the report. So we've got our report um, as per uh, as per inside our Power BI desktop model. But now we want to make sure that the security model is on top of this and we want to make sure that the correct people are provisioned to it. And so if we jump down to uh, data sets here and find row level security, which is the um, which is the what we just published, and you click on the three dots here, you'll see security. So we want to jump into security, and this is where you input emails of people within your organization who can see this report. But then you want to make sure that they are provisioned for the correct report. So in this case, we've got North Sales Team, South Sales Team. You want to add in all the people in your South Sales Team uh, in this Members section. Now to check that it's working in the cloud as well, if you click on these three dots, you can test as role. So I'm going to test as role, and you'll see that this is what the report will look like for that particular person um, who you have provisioned in that South Sales Team. So again, uh, the scalability is great. The efficiency in terms of um, you know not no duplicated effort is great. All you all you've got to do is add the security model on top, and then re, uh, configure certain or provision certain people to see uh, certain aspects of the analysis uh, via the data set section uh, within the um, inside the online service.